2.57 meters. <laughs> this high school is filled with mysteries. We analyze each other's like crime scene, see which one's the best. And we have to figure out who the killer was. Chad, yeah, the most important part. Oh yeah, terrible things have happened here. Terrible and hard to explain. So this guy was supposedly murdered by a dog, but who knows, probably is, probably isn't. Fact is, the science knows. 4.47 meters. Measured in meters and feet. Ken doll is dead. There's coke nearby, maybe an OD. That's possibly the case for Pillowhead Woman. Apparently there was a, there was a party at a mansion. No cameras were on. They died, not know how yet. Obviously drinking, drugs were included at this party. Lots of people. So far we have found um, a blender, some milk, um, possibly dog hair, tattered clothes, and what I'm guessing is a form of powder or mud or something. Could the powder, mud, or something be key to understanding what happened to Red Face Man? Today we're going to be putting up our crime scenes. Stacy Howell is taking these students through the science of sleuthing. Give them a suspect sample. Like a criminal mastermind, this teacher is sneaky. It's physics, it's chemistry, it's biology, it's psychology, it's all these sciences and they don't really realize they're doing it. The students in this room thinking, can I solve it? They analyze evidence, juggle theories, ruling out possibilities, suspects. There's the partner, there's the wife, there's the mistress, and then there's the maid. Until just one is left. This isn't doll science, this is cool science. And they're able to actually process and do stuff. Ah, you know, you've got them for life. The medical forensic class will do a tougher version of this at the end of next term. And by the end of the year, some of these students will intern in science-based jobs. Some may get high-wage, high-skill jobs where the businesses also pay for their college tuition. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.